<laughs> All right, it looks like it's time for a new rush contest. This is the round three cactuar. cactuar. Um, seems like everything's going to be about the same here. Best completion time. Don't summon uh, anything, basically. Uh, no Ragnarok, no Ring of Lucy. Um, you know, pretty much everything we've been doing so far. So, at Cape Cod, or uh, the Marlboro, where they were at, or Mount Marlboro Dome, or however you want to pronounce them. About the same place by the look of it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so uh, they're all pretty low level here. Your timer's going to start off at 99 hours and work its way down. And that's your basic counter. Your total is going to be 100 Cactuar Slack Dwar. It might be 50 each, it might be 60, 40, who knows. Uh, as of right now, they're seeming to be level 15s. So basically, daggers and firearms are their weakness. Um, and pretty much everything else is not a weakness or the resistance too. So fire is resistant and so is holy or light depending on how you want to say it. And if you also notice there's also uh, level 40 uh, Gravelos maybe? I don't know. He's got 89,000. So you're going to hit him with polearm. Uh, some kind of blizzard spell or blizzard freeze something. Um, pole arm and short sword. Go to town on him or just tear ass. All right, first run wasn't all that great, but uh, let's watch the first run. It's just kind of seeing what's going on and what I can use. And uh, go from there. Alright, for some reason if it doesn't automatically, as soon as you run in here you see all the cactars, slack drawers. As soon as they uh, appear, you should immediately go into it. But if they not, if they don't do that, uh, it's just right here, right on the edge, same place as before. So there's nothing real fancy, just go to Cape Cod and you'll pretty much run into something that'll let you know exactly where it is. Um, same as the other myth and um, yeah, I think it's, this is the third time they use this particular place. So you should be able to remember where it is if you've played in those three. If not, it's not really that hard to find. Just come down off the road and you'll run right into this little location right here. That's so another good thing that you can do is, uh, Carlovos, what you can do is wait for him to appear, just kind of hang out, and, um, go into your gear and switch tech to the armature accelerator. That way, at least, you know you have one thing that is completely knocked out, and that way it'll give you a boost in the upcoming battle you're about to do. And you can switch back to your tech. Um, that's just kind of a, I just happen to notice it, so you can sit there on load on him, and take him down, and then as soon as your time quest comes back up, you're not really going to have much of an issue at all. So that way, bam, time quest, you can hit the armager, and you can go right into nailing him. Now keep in mind, I haven't done anything with food. So, that, that might be another opportunity for you, is uh, use food to supplement for something else. I'm just not using food at the moment. Alright, so, uh, kind of similar to the last one. Equip your best dagger for uh, Noctis. That'd be uh, Zwill if you have it, Vigilantes kind of work your way down it depends on what you want to use but general idea here um, if you have four ribbons 
which at this point in time with all the uh, Oracle Ascension coins you could have bought, you should have maybe three or four. Um, if you've already beaten the game, you should have the basic three. You know, just run around doing the basic quests, side quests, stuff like that. And then buy the fourth through Oracle Central Coin. And if you don't, uh, your other option is the Star Pendant and the Rainbow Pendant. So that way you won't have to worry about too much. Um, as far as poisons, which is just kind of annoying, but... Yeah, that's whatever. Confusion is the main thing that just sucks. Um, I'm using Tech Turbo Charger. Just because I'm going to be using Impulse a lot. I'm um, going to be using Ignis's Enhancement. Uh, Impulse, Warp Strike, tap out of everything. Um, and if you happen to be out of ethers, just kind of run around and hold circle. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult, but... You know, there's a lot of things you can use. Um, you can equip other things, like if you want to uh, equip some kind of uh, blizzard spell. Uh, it doesn't matter even if you want to go with high tier, but I would suggest not wasting it. Not unless you farmed and you've got a bazillion of them. But even then, you should have like, I don't know, plenty of things to use Quint Cast on and kill off 8 to 10 of them when you cast it. But, you know, Freeze also works pretty decent, too. It's just like I said, I'd rather have the continuous effect of seeing them with the Quint cast. It's just my preference. You might have others. So, that's my general setup. But in field of battle, I'm probably going to be switching from this will to my Quint cast Bazaga. That's just a personal choice. That's all it really is. You can do whatever you want, but as a good suggestion, either have ribbons, star pendants, or uh, your rainbow equipped. And if you don't want to do that, last but not least, is always casual outfit, no jacket. So that way you're affected by pretty much anything. You know, it, it says that you can move freely up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's not the no jacket. It's just the casual outfit. It protects the defender against stat reducing uh, status ailments, poisons, confused stuff like that. And also, I've noticed um, the debuffs from like uh, lightning and fire and any kind of freezing. All of those debuffs don't affect either. But I'm going to be warp striking. I'm going to stick with the kingly remnant. And if you haven't already, there's some uh, pretty cool new outfits out now. If you haven't downloaded them, they're for free. The trendy outfit, with and without the jacket. But that's uh, designed to defend against stat reducing uh, status ailments. And then the other one allows you to land critical hits more quickly. So it's the same thing as a casual outfit with and without jacket. It's just it's different now. But um, either way, I've actually paid attention. <laughs> Use whatever suits you the best. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of breaks than anything. So I'm just going to stick with the kingly remnant no jacket. All right, well, good luck on the leaderboards out there.